Hello, welcome to the Tech Cave. My name is RJ, and today's video um, a little tip for HTC Vive. Now, um, okay, I'm not in the Steam VR app at the moment, and I just wanted to share this. Um, I don't know, option I suppose it is that you can do for the, let me move around here for you, for the lighthouses. Now if I move up to here, you can see my lighthouse is not on. It's got the green light on, but it's like in a sleep mode. So there's no, um, there's no lights there shown at all. And I'll tell you how this is done. It connects via Bluetooth. Now, if your mobile doesn't, um, mobile, if your computer doesn't have Bluetooth, you can buy one of these little widgets. There we go. You can see the make of that one on there. I don't know. Oh, it's a trust. Um, I think it was a couple of pounds. Uh, you know, a few dollars, I suppose. Whatever that's going to be. It's not a lot if you don't have Bluetooth on your motherboard already. And what you can do with that is you can enable it. Yeah, let's just fire up the Steam VR. You can enable the Bluetooth to switch off the lighthouses and switch them back on again, which is fantastic because, um, well, the plugs for mine are not easily accessible and I kept forgetting to switch them off. And you'll see here these are not switched on but what you can do is you can right click on them and say wake up base stations and that'll send out a little signal so we go into settings there we go and where are we in you in enable Bluetooth communication install Bluetooth driver and then you can wake up base stations I think that's everything that you need to get the drivers to switch on and off. Anyway, all the settings are there to be able to switch those on and off. And we should, hopefully, you can hear them kind of spin up um, because my mech unit is not in the space for them to wake up. If we go over to here now. <coughs> Yep, there we go, you can see they're now on. Over the other side, you can see this is now switched on. So if I exit out of SteamVR, let's get back over here. It does take a little, little while for them to exit out. But if we go there and go quit, preparing to quit. Let's just bring this down. Put my head unit back. They take, I don't know whether they take maybe a minute or so for them to switch off, but they will switch off by themselves, which is nice. That you got that little bit of power saving. I'm not sure what they, what kind of power they draw, whether in standby mode, but you can hear that they're not kind of wearing round anymore which is obviously going to extend the life of these units and save you some ele electricity. So there we go. Mm. I don't think we're going to wait on this video for them to power down, but they do power down, trust me. Nope. Anyway, if this has been any help to you, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, Slap the like button and oh, there we go, it's gone. Hey, so there we go, so it works. And that was all because of that little Bluetooth device. So, there we go. Um, as I said, uh, leave any comments in the description. Uh, in the blah blah blah, blah I can't speak. Ah, let's start again. Leave any comments below, any questions you have. But hopefully, this has been helpful to you. My name is RJ, this is the Tech Cave, and there we go. So say bye bye. That's an awful outro. <laughs> okay. My name's RJ. This is the Tech Cave. Boo. Bye bye.